Once again, you are watching Scribble Kibble, a weekly show about animation. And I had time to binge watch Betsy Lee's entire No Evil series. And I have to say that after watching all 20 episodes, I am genuinely interested in what's gonna happen next! I need to know! I even bought the comic to get the scoop on the prologue. This is the best independent animated series I have seen so far, and I'm addicted to it, which sucks because there isn't anything left to watch anymore. Sure, 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 I've seen series that are really minimal animation, but No Evil is way beyond stick puppet characters, and it's definitely past amateur animating skills. Now, the animation's not fantastic, It'll blow your mind away, but it's good. <laughs> the art and the voice acting are good, the story and the writing are good, and the series didn't fall apart after two or three episodes, which is the fate of most online serials, or at least the ones I've watched. There'll be three episodes and then there aren't any more. So by some sort of animator magic, Betsy Lee has created 95 minutes for the series over the past four years. Of course, No Evil starts out a little bumpy at first, particularly in terms of the audio work, because you can hear the white noise from the microphone whenever a character speaks. That problem goes away in later episodes. Although sometimes the voice actors don't enunciate or they speak too fast, and many of the characters have unusual names that come out of folklore, primarily Aztec lore, so fortunately, the subtitles work. Click them on if you need to, because I had to a few times. Now, I have some recommendations on how to watch this. The first is to set a movie night and let the No Evil playlist run from the beginning. That's the best, because Betsy Lee really knows how to let the lore in her story unfold. The second recommendation, if you don't want to do that, is to watch up through episode 10, or to only watch episode 10 if you're pressed for time. This is the place to make your choice, because the next thing I'm going to do is give a synopsis of the whole story so far, for anybody who needs a refresher. The world of No Evil is populated by spirits, magic animals who can take on human form, and humans. All live in harmony thanks to the power of a mirror. However, the humans and spirits argue over who should command the mirror. Because the existence of the powerful magic mirror actually results in disharmony, the frog spirit Tlaloc uses a tuning fork and trades his life to break the mirror. It shatters into four aspects, or Tezcatlipocas, red, white, blue, and black. The aspects are scattered around the world, only to resurface years later. In particular, the black Tezcatlipoca spreads like a plague. It kills any plant it touches and puts any living creature it touches to an endless sleep. To stop the black plague from consuming everything, four spirits combine their powers to create a force of will strong enough to seal away the black. Of course, there's a price. The raven spirit sacrifices her life, while the three monkey spirits each give up one sense, sight, hearing, and speech. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. A few years later, the seal breaks when some punk kid shows up and starts tearing the pieces of the black Tezcatlipoca off of the spirit guardians. The main characters in No Evil must now try to find a way to suppress the black plague. A healer and a shaman can individually cure most cases, but to actually solve the problem, their best bet is to find the being who can wield the blue Tezcatlipoca. Yet thanks to local power-obsessed kid, the first course of action is trying to get the other two pieces of the black Tezcatlipoca and keep them safe. And that's it. That's where we are now. If you're thinking of making your own series, No Evil is a super inspiration. You can watch any episode and you'll notice there aren't buckets of special effects. The camera movements, when there are any, are very simple. Everything is drawn by hand in flash, even the backgrounds, all in flash. All of the voice acting has a very do-it-yourself feel to it. Betsy Lee actually voices several of the characters herself. And most of the other characters are voiced by people she knows, so they all get together and have recording sessions. Everything about this series is completely doable. You can make this. Granted, the animation in the very first episode still outranks a lot of what I see on YouTube, but you can make this. All it requires is true dedication and a story that you've written that you can work off of and expand on. You don't have to have the whole story finished when you start, but enough that you know where you're going. Take your time, start small with short mini-sodes one to four minutes long, keep drawing your cartoon, and after a few years you will have a legitimate series with dedicated fans. Not fans of some other show, not fans of fan art, your fans. Your fans. 
There is one aspect of No Evil that is highly unusual for an original series, and that is the singing. It's fantastic. That's why I suggested episode 10, because that was the episode that made me take a hard look at the credits. It has an amazing trio song, which is an adaptation of the 1934 fast-paced boppin' gospel tune, There Ain't No Great. There ain't no great. Betsy Lee and the male voice actor Mr. Shoes arranged their own version of the song to be very slow and haunting. She sings the two female parts and he sings the male part and it's really quite spectacular. You don't get that anywhere else. People try to sing duets and it sounds off key, let alone three parts. <laughs> it was so good, I just had to look at the credits because I thought the characters had different voice actors to do the singing parts, which they don't, and that was a surprise. In terms of visuals, the only thing that's different are the patterned dresses and items you'll see from time to time. They're pretty, aren't they? I really like this one. Strange coincidence, before I even watched No Evil, I finished a tutorial on animating textures like this, and you can watch that here, but to summarize, you can download images and use them as texture fills in Flash. If you're on the level with masking, something I didn't cover in the tutorial, you could also mask the pattern onto the clothes fill layer like this. No Evil doesn't push too hard on animating the textures, just a few simple changes in the pattern position to give it the illusion of movement. Oh, oh, one more thing. The sign language. The sign language in episode 17. I don't think I've seen sign language animated before. Wow, <laughs> what a lot of work to animate all of that. You thought lip sync was tedious to animate? How about every artist's favorite thing, hands. Hand lip sync. <laughs> no thank you. So seeing sign language animated was pretty dang sweet. <laughs> wow. After making this episode of Scribble Couple, I feel so inspired! I hope you do too. This seems like the appropriate episode to post all of the anthro themed scribbles art you've sent me. So if I were a spirit, no evil, I wonder what my power would be... Oh, right, ink, of course. Ink, yes, the power to inspire creativity. What would you want your ability to be? Healing? Waterbending? Shapeshifting? Reanimation? Being a soul-sucking, murderous little... <laughs> Hopefully not that last one. of your past never quite seem to last in the future that's so far away but here in this place you know molly is a princess today <laughs> <laughs>